It's that time of the year again, an official release of Xcode. It's sort of the most exciting time of year and yet terrifying part of the year as well, because you've probably been using Xcode 13 and everything's been great, but you also want to install 14, but not uninstall 13. You kind of want that side by side, but what if you also need like a beta or one of the previews or something like that? Like how do you actually manage all of your Xcode instances? If you're like me and have been for years, you've been downloading them side by side, these huge mega packages without any way of actually knowing what's installed, what's the correct version and actually managing them. And today I'm going to show you one simple utility that you need to install right now to manage all of your X codes. So let's get into it. Hey everyone, I'm James and I've been a long time iOS, Mac, Android, and Windows developer. And one of the really sort of frustrating parts of existence as an iOS and Mac developer is updating Xcode. Not only is there like an official stable release of Xcode, but there's beta versions of Xcode. You can have them side by side, but you need to download different packages. You have to be logged into your Apple developer account, sort of a headache. And right now Xcode 14 just dropped and a new preview as well. So it's like, how do I manage all this, but also make sure that everything that was really happy, like yesterday before I installed everything continues to be happy today. Well, today I'm going to show you a tool that has all that for you built in. So let's get into it. All right, this application I found just off of Twitter, off a good friend, the Cheese Baron, who tweeted this out, X codes app. You see what they did there? There's multiple X codes, like an X code, but codes. And what it does, it enables you to easily install and switch between multiples of X code with a single button click. And I'm a GUI person. I love GUI type stuff. So this is great. So this is being constantly up to date. You can see the most recent release right here, August 8th. And it kind of walks you through exactly what you need. It will show you all the different versions of Xcode that you need or have on your machine and also the betas as well. So this is really, really cool. And there's all sorts of stuff, including an experimental unzipping experimental to make things 70% faster, which is crazy. And it's localized in tons of languages as well, which is really, really cool. Now you can install this via um, brew and cask if you want. Um, but if you're like me, I'm just going to install via uh, a zip. <laughs> That's how I like to do it. So here, all you're going to do is go to the releases tab and down below, you'll see everything that was in this release and you can download the Xcode zip. It's actually quite small. So we're just going to go ahead and download it here into my downloads folder. And let's go ahead and open it up. Perfect. Xcodes. There's the application. It's very small, 23 uh, megs. And I'm just going to double tap it. You could of course drag it into your applications folder as well. I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, I totally trust this application because I just literally brought it down. All right, let me just go ahead and minimize a few things here. So we get a nice zoom in here. So I'm going to go and shrink it just a little bit and then zoom in for us on the screen. Here we go. Perfect. Need a little bit more. All right. So it's a very sort of simple application to understand. There are versions of Xcode installed on your machine. I have 13.3.1. And what's nice is that it tells me what other versions in that series I can install. Here's 13.4.1 and of course 14.0 as well. That is out. It gives me the little you know build numbers as well. And this enables you to go all the way back. I mean, all the way to 1.0 if you really want to. I mean, that's pretty slick. Um, now what's cool here is that you can click on this releases and this will toggle between uh, beta only, um, all releases or just releases. So that's kind of nice. So here's the beta only, or here's all of them in one. This is a nice view because not only does it tell you if it's green, but it'll also show you all the beta versions that you can get. So for example, here's the 1406 beta 14, the release candidate and the 14.1 beta as well. Now there's some other things in here too. So if you want to filter just what you have installed and make it easier, you can one click open it. Of course, you can go into your settings here. You can look for updates, which is nice. So once you've downloaded it once, it'll automatically update it. So you don't need to download a zip every single time. You can also go to advanced. So you can go ahead and set the applications, keep the naming conventions, the data sources you have, the downloader you use. And there's an experiment of unzipping, um, which is really, really cool. So that can actually make things really, really fast. Now, let's say you did want to install something. So for example, uh, I wanted to install the latest release of 14.0. If I go ahead and install that, it's going to say, hey, you actually didn't meet the minimum requirements because my Mac device is on 12.4 and I need 12.5. 
So it's actually quite nice that it's going to run through and tell me my minimum requirements. So maybe I don't want to update to 14.0 yet, but I do want to install 13.4.1. So if I tap on that, it's going to tell me that I'm not authorized because I need to sign in. If you remember how you actually install additional versions of Xcode, not from the app store is through the Apple developer portal. So all I do is tap on this account here and I'm just going to log in. All right. And through the magic of signing in, I can now actually go ahead and hit the install button. And when I do this, it's already does the check and knows that, Hey, my 12.4 Mac OS version is valid. So it's going to start downloading, installing and doing everything that I need automatically, which is really, really cool. Now I'm not going to sit here and wait for Xcode to install because it's going to take forever. But as I can go through, I can see that, Hey, now I can actually see my installed versions, all my versions, the release versions, beta versions, everything I want in that series. And when I'm ready, I can go in and of course, simply update my Mac OS and get 14.0 and have these all installed on my machine. Now, remember as this is installing, you can go into your advanced options and you can simply say, keep the name. So this is going to install Xcode as Xcode, uh, 13.4.1.app, which is really, really nice. So you can see it right there, what it's going to do, which I super love. Okay. So I did actually wait around just a little bit more to let it finish installation. I have to say, I do think that the installation was way quicker over here than it was if I downloaded it from the app store. So it only took, I don't know, like 10 minutes or so to install 13.4.1. So that's pretty awesome. Now, one thing I want to show you is that once you have it installed, you can actually tap around on this little green check mark to make it the active version of Xcode. So that's important if you're running different command line things and you want it to be the default that's used. Else again, it's going to show you exactly the application URL where it's at. So here I have Xcode 1331. If I tap over here on 1341, now we can see that I have that version up and running and we have both of them here side by side. So I have both of my versions of Xcode and everything that I need. And of course, now I can go update my Mac OS device and then install 14.0 when I'm ready. But I think this is absolutely astonishing. It's really, really cool to see an easy way of managing Xcode versions with a beautiful user interface. And there you have it in just minutes, seconds, if you will, we've automatically set up our Mac OS device to automatically triage, find, download, uninstall all the different versions of Xcode with Xcodes. It's an amazingly free application, completely open source that I highly recommend all of you take a look at. There's also a command line version of Xcodes as well. There's a whole library out there that you can build on top of. It's really, really cool. So definitely take a look. I'll put all of the links in the show notes below. If you like this, or if you have other cool tools that you're using to manage iOS, Android, Mac, or windows software, stuff like that, let me know. I would love to know and do videos on them and love to share that with the world. Go ahead and leave a comment below. I'd absolutely love it. And if you like this piece of software and like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also would appreciate that. If you like this video and other development stuff, why don't you give the channel a subscribe? Stay up to date every single time I put out a new video right here on YouTube. All right, that's going to do it for this week. Thank you so much and have a good one.